Sitting before me is a woman clad in leather armor with light yellow highlights. Her ears are ridged and her eyes red. I literally have never seen her like, and I've interviewed many heroes. Well, my kind get a bad rap most of the time. Are you elves of some sort? Maybe akin to the blight variety? No, I'm not an elf. I'm a... Uh, here we go. Nostratu. Uh, you're a vampire. <laughs> more like a humanoid species that has bat-like qualities. Honestly, we have more in common with the fruit bat of Earth. Is that why you have fangs? Sorry, I just noticed them. I'm told my race had to fight off predators to get at our food, and our sharp teeth are an evolutionary throwback to those days. Is your heroic name a nod to what you prefer to eat? Sort of. I do like garlic, but it's more, again, a nod to people that I am not, in fact, a vampire. What about the other half of your name, Mononoke? In Earthen Japanese, it refers to spirits that possess individuals. Is there something you're not telling us? It's more of a nod to my hidden skills as an elementalist. I have access to a sphere I do not like utilizing. And that is... Sorry, we heroes keep some secrets close in case we encounter someone that might have specifically studied our powers. That's one question I'll show for a time it might leak to the public. Fair enough. Since you broached the subject of being an elementalist, can you explain to the listeners what that entails? Are you like that character from the Earthen animated series Avatar? Well, I can do something with each element, but I cannot utilize the broad spectrum Aang or Korra did in the shows. Elementalists are also trained in the use of light and darkness. That explains quite a bit. I've seen footage of you stomping the ground and causing tremors. There's also plenty of footage showing you using water to blast gang members. That makes two. Can you tell us about the other elements? For fire, I can simply increase or decrease the temperature of any flames nearby. As for air, there is this. You're surrounded by air? Is this shield of some sort? Wait, I know. Like that one spell from that Kingdom Hearts game. <laughs> Pretty much, I get the comparison with anyone familiar with the game. Not gonna lie, but anything that developer puts out, I pick up to play. At least some of it. Earthen games are amazing. Do you play any video games? Not many. If I do, I stray into the artistic variety, like the one in the desert without any words. That one is lovely, but I think our listeners want to hear a bit more about your wonderful shield. Does it deflect, slow things, give you a speed boost? Well, for one, it keeps me oxygenated underwater. However, its main priority is to redirect projectiles and some energy sent my way. Uh, okay, I've seen some of the footage of that and it's pretty sweet. The one time you redirected Ivory Peregrine's arrows back into some of the scavenger gang was one of the most viewed videos a couple months back. Ivory is more impressive than most heroes. Have you interviewed her yet? Let me just say that when Ivory says no, one should listen rather than ask again. I had to get an entirely new tablet after the one I was carrying received her second response. <laughs> To be fair, she's pretty straightforward and doesn't hide much about her past or present. Working with her was both intimidating and an honor. Truer words could not be spoken. How about your current heroics? Seems you had a one-on-one -on -one with that adapted android that put three police officers and two master wizards in the hospital. Any other heroes step in to help you pull it down? How do you know about this? It only happened two days ago, and the police have yet to release the details to the public. I have my sources. A good reporter can pick up on a lead in a conversation and just naturally steer the course until the person realizes they goofed. Listen, officially, I can't talk about the adapted. The fight almost ended my tenure as a hero. Your source should have said as much once they realized they were being steered. 
Oh, they gave me the silent treatment quick, but not before telling me something huge that happened. It seems you tried every trick, both natural and elementalist. This interview is over. I told you at the beginning not to question me on what you've learned. You also told me you would make a statement once the ability made its way to the public. Goodbye. I have footage! <sighs> Why are you doing this? I'm a reporter. I just want my listeners to know how amazing heroes can be. Even those with secrets. Secrets like being able to manipulate the void? Please stop. Here. This is the only copy of the footage of the fight. It's yours if you j just answer one question before storming out of here. Ask away. What is the void? An absence of everything. Utilizing it causes all emotion to drain from me for a time. It's exhausting. The void is also very dangerous to anyone untrained in calling it. I've answered a question. Hold up your end of the agreement. Fair enough. Good luck getting any other heroes on this show. I'm sorry, Garlic. I had to. One day I hope you will see why.